going to have 100 pounds of white chocolate chips and add to that 85 ml of boiling water and just sit straight onto the there we go just like over and just stir gently until lovely and melted i'm using chocolate chips you can use um, any white chocolate really i suggest a more of a catering style uh, or a, a better a better bar of chocolate that you can get and once that's lovely and dissolved so mixing bowl we've got our ground almonds softened butter whoops sugar pasta sugar four egg yolks and in here, we've got a uh, half teaspoon of xanthan, half teaspoon of sea salt, and one teaspoon of gluten-free baking powder. And our chocolate. Mix that all together. And you can use a hand whisk, electric whisk. You have a nice, thick, butter there we go here i have the four egg whites that i separated from the eggs earlier and i'm going to whisk them to a stiff peak we have a really lovely glossy thick whisk peak of the we want to Start adding slowly, just our mixture to a tablespoon, one big spoon at a time, and just slowly incorporate it. Keep going until it's all incorporated just a big spoonful at a time slowly take time there we go I'm hoping you can see nice thick cake batter we just want to carefully take a good dessert spoon and place it in each of the muffin cases equally make sure you've put your oven on 180 gas mark four to preheat so your cakes go in a nice warm oven and just work your way around each batter mixture will make 24 cupcakes so um just a few under our 50 and i hope that's okay but cake tins come in 12s Whilst our cupcakes are in baking, I'm just going to make a very quick, quite sour raspberry jam with 350 grams of frozen raspberries. It's not an exact quantity. If your packet is a little bit less or more, don't worry. And a couple of, well, I'm going to put one and a half tablespoons because I want this jam to be really tart um, to fill the centre of the cupcake. It just gives a lovely surprise. If um, you like you can use ordinary jam, you can just buy jam, but this is particularly, it's sour, and I think works really well with white chocolate. So I've got this up high, on quite high, you can see, uh, 1500 on this one, and I'm going to bring it to the boil quite quickly, and then take it down and simmer it until we can get nice ribbons um, in it, and that will make a lovely center filling for our cupcakes. You do want to stir this because it can get sticky sometimes on the bottom, so just keep stirring. But you can see it's quite ferocious. All that fruit's going to break down. Just keep your eye on it. A jam has been merry bubbling away for oh, about five minutes, I think, and that's how quick it is. Can you see? I'm hoping that it causes quite a nice ribbon. So when that cools down, it's going to get even thicker, and it needs to be completely cool before we ice the and make the cupcakes. 
Cakes are out, cooling, lovely. We're gonna make our buttercream icing. So we have 250 grams of unsalted butter in here, which we're gonna whip until it's really white and fluffy. Do this for hand mixer, you can do it by hand, but it's a lot of arm work, up to you. It's really, really important that before you start doing that, that this temperature is, uh, the butter is room temperature, not cold. And if you're gonna do it in a microwave, be really careful that it doesn't go oily because the buttercream won't be as light and fluffy. I'm hoping you can see how light and fluffy the um, butter is now. It's been whipping for a good, oh, three to five minutes. So it's not a short time. I'm just gonna add to that 200 grams of icing sugar, well sifted. And this will look smoky. So start it off very, very, very slowly. And we're gonna whip it back up to be nice and fluffy again. Uh, I'm hoping you can see it again. We've got a beautiful, light, really wonderful buttercream icing. And to that, this is 300 grams of white chocolate that I've melted in a microwave slowly. I did it on about 20 seconds, 30 seconds fast. And as soon as it was melted, took it off, allowed it to cool while I'm making the rest of my buttercream. And then I'm adding that in with a teaspoon a vanilla bean paste, which is entirely optional. Add a teaspoon in there, the vanilla bean paste. Whisk that all up and we're ready to go. That will be absolutely beautiful as is, but because it's an extra special celebration, I'm gonna put one teaspoon of gold luster powder I bought off the internet, you can get it in shops as well, and whisk that in to give a lovely golden shine to the icing. I'm not sure if you can see in this light, but it's so pretty, it's so gold and really lovely. Can't wait to start icing these now. And so to assemble, and I'm literally going to take the cake, and with the half a teaspoon, I'm going to cut a hole in the middle of the cake, and then we're going to fill it with a little jam the jam that we made earlier now i put it into this bowl and it's been chilling in the fridge just so it was cold enough to do this with and we're going to repeat that for all 24 of the cupcakes and so to pipe i've got my piping bag fill up with uh, buttercream icing that we've made and i've put a number seven piping tip on here now you can just lodge it on with a spoon if you want the whole idea of baking is it should be fun and we're just going to start up from the outside and in a nice even swirl round just a traditional cupcake. Oh, right, let's do it again. Gently applying pressure round to a nice swirl. And to finish, I've simply dipped a fresh raspberry in some of the gold luster and sprinkled on some of these lovely extra sparkly gold that I got online uh you can get them in most supermarkets and i think you'll agree that's a rather beautiful cupcake hopefully fit for celiac uk